Well, hello, NGConf. I'm Del Honoluka, and I'll be talking about doing more with less JavaScript. So every journey begins with an idea, one that you can almost hold in your hands. So you pick a stack, and you start coding. You npm install a few things, and everything's going good. Your vision is still in sight. And you go read some blogs, start copy-pasting some code. Things get intense and specific. And before you know it, you have three versions of Angular installed in your project, and you're, you're not even aware of it. So next thing you know, you're dealing with the bugs and quirks of dozens of tools and libraries. This is not what you signed up for. Your vision is blocked by these sandbags of complexities. And you're simply and utterly devastated. You're imagining what could have happened, you know, how things could have been. Congratulations. You've been trolled by JavaScript. You don't need dozens of tools and libraries to be successful. So I'm going to teach you a technique on how you can stop feeding this troll. I'd like to tell you a quick story. It's about a monk who goes to the city, and he's mesmerized by the diversity and richness of the market. He likes to buy a few things, but he doesn't have any money. So the merchant asks him, what can you give? How can you give without any possessions? So this monk, Sidrata, responds, I can think, I can wait, and I can fast. In the end, he gets all that he wants. And you can do as well. Let's apply the same idea to JavaScript now. Think. Don't rush the coding. Can you get to 80% with just 20% of the effort using the libraries that you're already good at? Resist the urge to invent something new. Stick to simple defaults. Stick to best practices. Descope. Read the docs, and then go back and reread the docs. Only then go to the NPM and install a new library. Wait. At the edges of the betas and RCs, you burn. I published a series of blog posts on building beautiful and scalable AngularJS apps where you can leverage your existing skills while starting to get good at new Angular concepts. Balance your productivity with your experimentation. Remember that 80-20 rule. Fast. End the gluttony of JavaScript dependencies. Only by reducing your surface area can you become a master of what you're working with. You'll be more productive, more effective, and you might actually start enjoying your job a little bit more. You can implement this philosophy using three tools. Angular, NPM, and TypeScript. Angular extends HTML rather than replacing well-known elements and APIs. It's modular, which means you don't have to remodel your entire kitchen when all you have is a leaky faucet. This decoupling makes it easier to do best practices like solid. Thanks to more explicit configuration and error messaging, you're the one in control when it comes to Angular. Become an, MP uh, an Angular expert. NPM is the world's largest ecosystem of open source libraries. It's powerful. It can simplify your configuration significantly. Shrink wrap your packages, become an NPM expert. Type, TypeScript is the past, present, and future of JavaScript. You can write async await code with no callbacks and run it on IE6. With simpler code, type check, and interfaces, your code becomes more scalable. And this is important because you can do full stack with TypeScript. I have a project called the Minimal Mean Project uh, that demonstrates this very concept. Become a TypeScript expert. So Angular, NPM, TypeScript. You can pretty much accomplish any task with these tools and do it effectively. You don't want to be overwhelmed by the diversity and richness of our wonderful ecosystem. You want to be like her, worried about drinking your tea. <laughs> to recap, think, wait, and fast. 
All right, so the blogs and links are up on the javascriptpromise.com, and let's continue the conversation on Twitter. Follow me at DeLuca.